um, all the way from Vancouver, Canada, Mr. Dwayne Nickel from Adobe. Thank you. So I am Dwayne, and yes, I am from Canada. Um, I'm also a senior technical evangelist from, uh, from Adobe. And I was asked to do a keynote, and I kind of pondered for a while what was going to be delivered in the keynote. And I realized I'm preaching to people who know a lot more about Java than I do. But what I did want to share with you is I wanted to share with you some of the things that we've seen as a, as a company, and I've seen in my life as an architect. Most of my life I've worked either as a musician, a professional musician, or writing standards for various bodies, including this list of standards here. And throughout the whole process, I've had the chance to interact with a lot of people and built up a very large Rolodex. And the nice thing about it is, is that it, it gives you an ability to talk to these people and try to get a feel for what the pulse of the industry is. My job at Adobe is uh, the, the word evangelist I don't think quite translates well into most European languages, but uh, it really means somebody who is religious about technology. So that's, that's sort of who I am. Um, most recently, though, I started working on a very interesting project with Tim O'Reilly. And this uh, project was to try and capture the essence of what Web 2.0 was. And this started out as an internal Adobe project, which was to really quantify you know, what it is, you know, what this thing is all about. And I want to share some of the research with you on, on that subject as well. But before we do that, I want to bring you back to some very pragmatic questions. Um, we're going to talk, it said uh, on the keynote, I think, uh, SOA, Web 2.0, and a couple of other things. And these are things that people are, are struggling to understand. Um, you know, what is SOA? How many people in this audience? Put your hand up if you have an idea what SOA is. Come on, don't be shy, okay? Now, how many of you who put your hands up think everybody in this room shares your definition of SOA? <laughs> no? <laughs> Web 2.0, same thing, right? It would be pointless of me to come out here and talk about SOA if each one of you thought I was talking about something different than what I was actually thinking I was talking about. And then the, the more contentious questions are, you know, assuming that there is something there, because it, it's like fashion, if you put 10 people on a wall and dress them in, some in Armani and some in potato sacks and say which ones are best dressed, we'll all probably generally agree on, yeah, these people, and you know, we can't quantify it, but they're the best dressed. It's the same with Web 2.0. You know, you look at something and you sort of intuitively know if it was designed, you know, this last couple of years or 20 years ago. So the, the big question is then, how is this all relevant to Java? Now, I, in the research process, I started noticing a pattern. I've been going to these conferences for a lot of years. Do you remember 10 years ago, or I guess it's 12 years ago now, when the internet first came out, and you went to a conference like this, and everybody had a slide like this. There's thing one, thing two, thing three, and this little cloud in the middle, and the internet was going to solve all your problems. That worked out well, right? Very quickly, people two years later said, no, it didn't solve all your problems. It was XML. That's going to solve your problems. Just drink this Kool-Aid. It'll be good. Then it was web services. In between that, there was something else we worked on called EBXML. Then it's SOA. SOA is now the, the modern deus ex machina. Um, web 2.0. I think the marketers are lazy now. Now they've realized they don't even need a word in the middle of it. Now they just call it cloud computing. <laughs> and it's going to save all of us. <laughs> there's, not, there's nothing really new about this, though. You know, this, this cloud computing, you know, one computer system talking to another, this has been around since DARPANET days. What's becoming really clear and evident uh, is that it's becoming easier to use. Um, those of you who use Macs will have seen this. And they have a little mobile cloud. Now, granted, Apple, you know, they're always better at design, so their cloud looks better than my cloud. But, you know, you've got a Vista system on one side and your iPhone and, you know, the stuff's up there. But this leaves some lingering questions. For those of you who work in IT shops for big companies who are stewards of data for a lot of people, you don't necessarily want to have that data floating around somewhere in a cloud. You know, you want to know where that data is. You want to know where the data belongs, who, who can look at it, have an audit trail of it. So putting all the data in the cloud is probably not...